Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading for November 13th through the 19th. I'm going to be taking a look at the person on your mind, how you feel about them, how they feel about you. The connection between the two of you, I will be clarifying each card so energies can change as I clarify. This is general, it may not resonate for everyone. If it does, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel so you never miss an upcoming read. Now, at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Sacred Traveler or Oracle deck to give us some more insight, guidance, and clarification on your situation. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Show me how does Sagittarius feel about the person on their mind? Oh, oh. what's bothering you okay so there's something holding you back here although you're having a good time you like the attention you want to see where things go but you're telling yourself like but it won't happen i don't know some of you being their boss or maybe you want a different kind of relationship than they do we'll have to take a look into this further but six of wands page of wands and then the five of cups so you know this is and maybe you're feeling that this person doesn't see that you are um approaching them but it does feel like you're trying to be optimistic really wanting their attention really liking it but then this five of cups coming in as but what if i get treated the same way i did in the past because this always happens you've got to take that away that five of cups right there whatever it is that you are feeling um with that situation you got to work on that because this feels good the first two cards in this situation is like i want this this person also might be older than you um maybe that's something that is something you're thinking about if it bothers you then it needs to be brought up like maybe this isn't for you you will make that decision for yourself but be optimistic see where things go plus if this person is somebody here Sagittarius who is very wealthy or financially stable they have their own place like they got their life together and they know what they want this is going to be somebody also who's very loyal kind um, they don't date just anybody and when they do they invest in that person like in a relationship so let's go ahead and look at how this person feels about you They feel you're still stuck on somebody from your past and that that needs to close and so that's why they're staying okay so here's the thing this is an extra message we're going to put that there here's what we have the judgment card the eight of wands and the ace of cups this person is seeing things from a bigger picture okay from above and looking down and seeing the whole picture right here you know the things that not everybody tends to tell but yet they're seeing you know all of it um and through what you're telling them they're realizing they do like you um however they're just wanting to stay right now friends or keep it at i'm not saying they're friend zoning you what it is is something you have said or something you have indicated sagittarius has shown this person or you know a lot i'm gonna say made them aware that you know you're carrying your past issues with the six of swords about your past person and people who have hurt you into the present um and it makes this person feel that you still have an emotional love attachment to somebody who was significant in your life um maybe it was like a you know someone who is very important to you that's not here anymore but they don't want to move forward in love or in a serious relationship until you have closed out that chapter until you're actually done with that past and they're going to pay attention to if um you know you keep bringing it up or you keep talking about this person and I get that this person you're dealing with will definitely say something like I need to tell you that I think we should just be friends or whatever because I can tell you're not over this or whatever they just feel that maybe you two can talk about things but let's go ahead and get the connection between the two of you 
not entirely love because there are some feelings there of I don't know if I can fully trust love. Um, yeah, see? Uh, that Queen of Cups came out in a 50-50 energy. Then we have the Seven of Swords and the Strength card. It's hard trying to love, but feeling it's hard because I don't know if I can trust love and, and trying to be tough all the time or put on this very tough exterior. This person sees right through it, just so you know they do. It's going to create challenges between you and this person if you hold on to that past. And I understand that somebody in your past did create um, this distrust because they were not good to you or they created a lot of pain or you know whatever the case may be or didn't work out and the last time you gave your heart to someone you know they just took advantage of you however this person's taking their time and I see them as very kind so let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening here let's clarify the six of wands If you start looking for things that are bad, you're going to drive yourself crazy. Um, everything's going good with this person, but you're evaluating things of what, you know, what is it that they might be hiding or um, things of that nature. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Devil, and then the Page of Cups. Before you, you know, allow yourself to get close to them you are waiting to see if this person shows you another side of them which i understand that's smart and you should um because i'm the same way i feel like pe some people will put on a show and then like three months six months even a year into a relationship they change and it's like whoa who are you you're not the person i got with <laughs> so it's understandable and it feels like Sagittarius that's what you went with went uh, through in the past was somebody who completely showed another side of themselves and it was it was not good it was it made you I you understand that's why you're like I don't trust people I just don't I understand I understand so that's why you're like I'm waiting I'm not sure about this I'm gonna wait and see you know how things go but I do like them um the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck is telling me that you know you have a lot of love to give you're just being cautious of the fact that you don't want to get hurt you want to wait and make sure that this is right for you that this is not going to end up a toxic relationship if you invest your heart into it and then you know I understand completely so let's go ahead and clarify this page of wands You're really curious if this could be the one. Wow. They do express their feelings to you. They show you that they care. It feels really good. You're optimistic here moving forward with that page of wands of this could be the one. The Empress, the Two of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. The fact that it feels just so organic with this person and, and you feel like they're not judgmental of me. You know, this could be the one for me because they see me for who I am. And, and you also can still be yourself and be... Um, your own independent self. I feel like you're very strong, super independent. Don't ask for help, but you know, this person wants to help you sometimes and you're like, no, 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 I got it. I got it. But this person is there for you. The page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck tells me that you're learning, um, you know, slow and steady wins the race, but you're learning more about each other and that this person um, makes you feel good about who you are and that you don't have to change anything about yourself. But whatever happened in that past right there is still, you know, that past doesn't exist anymore. And here's the thing. I know that, you know, things have happened and we've all gone through our own situations. But with that five of cups right there, um, it is in the past. If you keep reaching for something you cannot get anymore, you know, you can't have it back. It's gone, whatever, it's over. Um, then you're never going to see these two cups that are right here or the cups in front of you of people who want to love you, who want to be in your life, who want to treat you better than what you had in the past that might not have worked out. Um, you're deserving of love. 
don't don't short yourself um, let's go ahead and clarify this five of cups I want to see what this is about I just want to give you all the biggest hug in the world, you know, so sending virtual hugs and love to all of you Sagittarius because this is difficult. You feel good one, you know, you feel cautious one moment, then you feel good like it's heading somewhere the next and then this five of cups that just can be tough. That's a lot to carry around about what didn't work out and the sadness and the loss of what happened in your past, the disappointment of the situation. You've been carrying this around and it's time to start healing that because you're allowing whoever this is from your past to live rent free in your mind. You're allowing them to steal your joy. You're allowing this person from the past to steal every potential love situation you have. And not only that, they're stealing from your self-love and care. So you being happy with who you are. Um, doesn't matter what the, this person might have told you in the past or whatever. You are a wonderful person. Um, I want you to say something positive to yourself every day. Get up and just say, I look really good. I love my smile today. My eyes are amazing. I love my hair, you know. I love my personality. Today is going to be good. Just very positive things. And you're going to start, when you do that, um, Sagittarius, the more that you put that positive into you and work on that self-love and self-care and doing nice things for yourself and accepting who you are for you and loving everything about yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. Um, like this person tried to make you feel, I feel like you dealt with a narcissist in the past. You dealt with somebody who was really, really bad for you that made you feel insignificant in a lot of ways or made you, um, feel, um, a lack of trust because of the things they were doing wrong and that was not a reflection on you that is a reflection on that person they were not good to you you deserve better but do not allow this person to steal from you anymore because the five of cups again is at the bottom of the deck right here so it's telling me this really weighs heavy on you and i just want you to know that you are loved and you know you are appreciated here and you deserve to be happy just like anybody else and even if you see a relationship that you know two people that look like they're so in love and it's so perfect always remember that no relationship is perfect but we create what we want in our lives so if you want something better then don't allow this person to live rent free in your mind of stealing from your happiness they are stealing all of your joy so let's go ahead and clarify the judgment card you want to know what this new person sees in you with this judgment card what they see that you might not recognize is that you're a wonderful person the queen of pentacles the four of pentacles and the four of cups what they're seeing is that you are a very kind loving nurturing person but you hold on to a lot which keeps you from opportunities and they feel like you are missing opportunities of happiness here you know it, they do not feel that it's their place um to tell you that however this person wants to show you that they care about you. They're not going to let go even if you tell them no. This person still is going to try and make you see, look, you deserve this happiness. You deserve to, to feel the warmth on your skin from the sun that makes you feel good. You're, you should feel the growth in your life from um, all of the things that you've accomplished. This person, this new person is really wonderful and I like that about them. Um, and I like that they recognize and see things. They feel like, you know, you're a very tough person and maybe you, you know, your door is closed and you're not interested because of things that you've gone through. Like I said, they recognize that it's hard for you to let go of your past. So let's go ahead and clarify this eight of wands.
I like that they come in with a lot of communication. That Eight of Wands shows me that they come in with a really fast with messages of wanting your attention, showing you um, a good time and feeling that things are really, they feel like things are moving in a really good direction. Um, you know, some of you going on a trip together, it just comes off. This person's very protective of you. They will never allow anything to happen to you. Look how they defend your honor. Do you see these other wands and they're holding this wand? If anybody is to ever approach you and verbally or even physically attack you, Sagittarius, and this person is around, you better believe they will defend your honor. They are not going to back down. They just... This is how much they care about you. They won't even let their family or anyone, you know, not saying that family would do that, but I'm just saying this person wants everyone to know you two are together and they want to see where things go and they're very open. Like, you know what? I'm falling in love. Like I really, really am falling in love with Sagittarius and I, if they haven't told you yet, they're going to come in and tell you like, I'm really in love with you or I, I really love who you are. And I know that you're guarded. I know you have your guard up, but I don't care. I want to be here for you. They come in with a lot of communication, just that it's beautiful. They're passionate. They're loving. You know, this person is amazing. Let's go ahead and clarify this Ace of Cups. they secretly know that you're hurting it doesn't it doesn't face them this person's like even though they sh tell you all of this that ace of cups tells me that you know they're noticing that even though they tell you they're in love with you or that they want things to to go further i want to see where this goes um the moon, the five of cups and the three of pentacles. They know that you're still at this stage of like, let's just be friends or let's take this slow or you kind of backtrack a little bit here, Sagittarius. And it's because of your cautiousness in this situation of what you've gone through in your past. And they know they're like, I, I'm not letting go Sagittarius. They secretly know that, you know, there's something from your past that's holding you back and it happens to be a partnership. And it was something that was very significant. They feel like you are going to close that out or that they're going to work towards showing you that they appreciate you because this is the thing with that three of pentacles, you know, you weren't appreciated for your work. You weren't appreciated for your value of who you are. This person recognizes your value and they want to move things to the next step they want to help you close out that chapter of pain that you feel from your past and show you that you deserve so much more um let's go ahead and get the outcome between you and this person Okay, so this person is going to tell you we need to have a serious conversation and they're just going to go for it, right? But they are met with you blocking them um, and feeling a little stressed like, ugh, I don't know. Um, I don't see them pushing too hard. I just see the fact that this person will bring up we need to talk. The King of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Two of Swords. And what they want to talk about is that they want things to move a little faster. They want to see you open up more. I know you're closed off. Um, these are going to be things where they wanna, they wanna make sure that they're doing the right thing, that they're showing you they really want to be with you and that they are communicating clearly with you, but they are going to bring up the fact that there's something that is holding you two back and putting you at a crossroads from um, a commitment, you know, things moving from the beginning of this Ace of Pentacles. And they just wanna understand you know, but they will bring it up. They're going to bring it up. They're like, I can't hold back. I got to do it. So there might be some things that they don't say because they feel it's not their place to say, um, or ask, but there's some things they do want to discuss with you. So let's go ahead and get an Oracle message. We have navigating by the stars, follow your bliss. Okay. You see how this person is in the dark? Like, I don't know what I'm doing, where I'm going. Can I trust it? I can't see if you navigate by the stars, you will follow your bliss to something beautiful, meaning 
give things a chance here, Sagittarius. And I know it's difficult, but this person's really trying and they want to see, I'm telling you, they're very protective of you. If you follow your bliss, look what happens. Infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. You're going to see that this person will work with you, help you to collect that abundance, to build that abundance, to build. This person, oh, give it a chance. Just give it a chance. You know, I love y'all and I don't want to see you hurt in any way. And I don't like that anybody ever treated you this way um, in your past. But I will tell you, you are a very strong person. Um, you're very strong people. Um, all together and I know I know that you will get through this it will take a little time but the more you work on um, loving you and loving yourself and accepting that you deserve more than what this person in the past gave you or offered you um, you will start to align yourself with with better opportunities and seeing that this new person is worth it um, that that you deserve this you know this is your blessing go ahead take it you know this is supposed to help you grow even if it's just friendship, you know, if you're like, I just want friendship, if it's just friendship, this is supposed to help you grow forward, you know, moving forward, not backwards. So this is what I have for you. If it resonates, hit that like button. I will see you in your next reading coming up. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.